On this video, we're going to be talking about four ways of upgrading your NAS. So the most common option people will be choosing is upgrading a RAM because that's what they used to do on their computer. Adding more RAM usually meant uh, improving the speeds of the computer. But the thing with computers were usually that there was something called like a swap file, a temporary cache file, where in those cases when system ran out of memory space on memory, he created this virtual space on the hard drive so that programs could um, be located on this uh, additional space of, on that, which is hard drive, which actually didn't, didn't help. That's why the things were slow because that some of the data which is supposed to be in the RAM was actually living on the hard drive because there was no space. So adding more RAM meant more uh, storage space on the RAM so that all applications can be well, actually located on this RAM stick. So the speed was always increased. But with um, NAS, it's not always the case. Because not, most often you will see that there is 4 gigabytes or 2 gigabytes of RAM available, but you never actually use all of this uh, um, available space. So what you need to check, you need to go to Task Manager and actually check if you are running out of space or not. So if um, you are, then you might be actually considering doing that. So what are you going to be improving by adding RAM is going to be your apps, if you're installing more apps like Plex or anything, what is uh, consuming more of the storage space, then you'll be increasing these sort of things, only that app performance in general. You will be not increasing things like um, uh, data transfer speeds or um, something called IOPS and stuff like that. So that would be the first option. If you are running out of uh, space on your memory, do consider upgrading your RAM but this is not going to be improving data transfer speeds. So the second thing what you could consider would be actually improving data transfer speeds. So if you are having multiple LAN ports on your NAS, for example, you've got two of them, you can actually link aggregate. Some NAS has got PCI slots, so you can install 10 gigabit card or 5 gigabit card and um, improve data transfer speeds actually uh, by letting more bandwidth to get through this NAS. So that would be a way of doing that. So if you don't have PCI slots, you can link aggregate those two LAN ports. You will need um, Netgear or any other branded switch, which is a smart switch. That means you can enable link aggregation, which is gonna mean you can bond together two LAN ports um, on your NAS and on your uh, switch. And then you will connect to your computer, which has either two 2.5 gigabyte, uh, gigabit LAN connection, five gigabit or 10 gigabit is backwards compatible. And you will effectively double the speeds of our data transfers. You can also, it is still experimental from QNAP, people do use uh, on Synology QNAP USB 3 five gigabit adapter. So you could actually improve data transfer speeds by having this five gigabit port on your Synology or in fact on your QNAP. So that's that's an option. But um, once you have um, up to your bandwidth, up to five gigabit a second, then you need to actually consider is your media capable of delivering such speeds? Because if you're having most likely regular hard drives, they actually perform somewhere around 200 to 50 megabytes a second. So if you rate them in RAID 1, obviously you're going to have better speeds combined rate five if you've got three or four uh, more bays and and once you have enough drives then then you can actually uh, fully use this bandwidth of for example 500 megabytes or 1000 megabytes a second but it's going to be hard to achieve with some mechanical, mechanical drives so to improve the transfer speeds you might actually consider replacing your hard drives with ssd each ssd is going to work around 500 megabytes a second so if you build a RAID with these, you perfectly can get up to 10,000 or even more than 1,000 megabytes a second. This is when you can actually take advantage of this 5 gigabit or 10 gigabit connection, which you have upgraded your NAS. This will be improving data transfer speeds. Not only that, if you, if you choose to only replace, for example, one or two mechanical drives on your NAS with SSD, 
you can allocate this SSD to be used for application installation. So if you install Plex or any other or virtual machines, for example, all this data will be living on SSD. And uh, what is useful is that IOPS are so much um, better than on SSD compared to hard drives. So that means all small temporary cache files can be accessed really fast, really instantly from SSD, whereas mechanical drives take some time to, to get these, these files back. So that improves uh, general performance of a NAS. So all of the apps will be loading quicker, they will be more responsive, everything is going to be snappier. And also data transfer speeds will be increased by choosing that. And then we can move on to the last thing what you can do if you have on the bottom of your NAS, for example, if you've got Synology, of your QNAP is usually located inside the case, but uh, Synology and uh, like 718, no, 720, this is 720 unit, 918, which is older unit, 920, 1520, 1019, all these plus series NAS now come with NVMe slots. So what you can do, you can install something like M.2 NVMe SSD, which is like much, much faster than regular. So if this was 500 megabytes a second, here we are talking at least 1000 megabytes a second or even with some really high performance NVMEs, you can expect even 7000 megabytes a second. But always check as well what sort of PCIe lane it connects on the NAS. That will determine the speed of, um, of this SSD, how much it can actually deliver to the NAS. But you may consider this if you want to improve things like virtual machines, um, not that much of Plex, but in general, if there are some repetitive files, that might actually improve Plex as well a little bit. If you've got most, many users connecting and accessing the same data, what the cache is gonna do is that those files you're accessing most frequently will be actually located, a copy of them will be located, located on this SSD. So every time someone's coming back for the similar data, they'll be just getting it from SSD instantly. No need for searching on, on the hard drive for this data. If you enable read and write cache, that means that all data that you're writing will be first actually landing on SSD. So it doesn't need to do scrubbing on the hard drive. So it's gonna improve uh, data transfer speeds. Yes, uh, virtual machines, uh, web servers, database servers, everything to do is really fast small file uh, transfers. So in general in IOPS. So these have been the four ways of um, upgrading your NAS and speeding up your NAS. I uh, hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, you can go to NAS Compares, fill the form on the right hand side or send the email to info NAS Compares. And if the question will be interesting, we're gonna shoot a video like this and uh, we can help the world. Isn't that great? Have a lovely day yourself.